Oh yeah, you better pick your belt. Oh, I don't Ooh, pick your belt. Come on. picking the belt? Oh, they got a Gucci belt. belt. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Yo, what's up, guys? Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out the SMO movie Junior's Walkie Talkie today. Oh, Walkie Talkies, how that brings me back to the good old days where you know you had your sibling or your best friend and you have your walkie talkie and pretend like you're on a mission or that they're across from the entire world. It was just cool to have a walkie talkie. I had a walkie talkie for about a month before it broke down on me because my parents didn't want to give me the expensive ones. They got me the cheap ones still. I love them because they're still my parents and I did have a good time with the walkie talkie. I guess it's just sad that kids nowadays are playing more with the iPad and their phones than actually, you know, with each other, with toys, with whatever y'all, you know, what we used to use back then. But hey, I guess that's just how technology ages and then I guess y'all just grew up in a different era. Don't forget to hit me a like, subscribe, go ahead and comment, do you like to call better or text? I always love calling more than texting just because if I can call, I can get my entire thought out without having to constantly be using my phone, typing my fingers. It gets annoying at some point and a lot of people People can't really understand your text unless they hear it in a certain tone so if you want to be sarcastic you can say it sarcastically on the phone but you can't text sarcastically enough of me talking let's go ahead and check out the SMO movie Bowser Jr's walkie talkie today hope you guys enjoy the video mm -mm -mm. Chef BB, you're cooking a masterpiece. what are you making dude that's disgusting what are you doing? Uh, pour myself a cup of Gatorade or is it <laughs> why are you pouring it just drink it out of the bottle well I, I want to drink it out of a cup Chef PB. it had a top it's stupid why would you drink it out of a cup why does it look like Hulk well, jizz it, Chef okay. what, am I a little kid yeah, yes you're a little kid what kind of question <laughs> is that you're wearing a damn bib cause you're gonna spill something you idiot well, ooh a little kid Chef PB. you're not even a real chef you didn't even cook that food you bought to go from a restaurant ooh look it's in a pan I'm exposed I'm doing my job <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Chef BB? You just shut up. You're stupid. Oh, 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 oh. You know you're not supposed to take drinks. He in said, just shut up. Leave it in the kitchen. Drink it in here. Well, uh, I call my room the kitchen now. What? Just bring Bowser to listen to nobody, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to spill the drink, Chef <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And he spills it in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you said I was not to spill it in my room. I'm in the kitchen. He's right. That's what I just said. <laughs> Bro, what's the chef gonna do? He don't have the authority to whip you. When you made the mess in the kitchen, you gotta clean it up, you little bastard! Oh, I'm going to threaten you, come out! All these empty threats I hear, Chef Pee Pee. Out of your room in the next five seconds, I'm going to choke you to death. Okay? That sounds like my mom and my girlfriend. Okay. I'm sorry, I wasn't really threatening him. I was just telling him nicely that he has to clean up this mess he made. Look, look, let me show you. Look, Bowser, Junior came in here, dropped a glass of green Gatorade. You even cut your 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 feet on that. To strangle him. That sounds believable. But let me hear his part of the story. Junior, explain what happened here. He's gonna lie. Don't lie to me because I already know the truth. He's gonna lie. All right, Dad, I won't lie. So what happened was. I asked Chef PB to bring me a glass of water, and he oh. said, nose really stopped up, and it's full of boogers because he's been sick for a long oh. time. And he said he was bringing me the glass of water, <laughs> and then he sneezed, and boogers went all over the Oh, my gosh. Now he's trying to blame it on me because he doesn't want to be called Booger Nose. This is just typical kids. They always will cover their asses until their dying breath because they don't really want to get in trouble with their parents. I remember a story how I used to have a babysitter and I had many babysitters. A lot of them were bad, but some of them were good. It's just we didn't want babysitters because we're rebels. We're rebellious and whatnot. But I also used to always blame stuff on her when I know I did it and then she'll get in trouble because my parents will like yell at her and then like not hire her for the next week. And I was probably messing up with her back. I was probably messing with her back, which is not okay. But I was a kid, so I was just, you know, I was just thinking about myself. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to say I'm the one who broke the vase. Why couldn't the babysitter be the one who broke the vase? Like, really? <laughs> is this true, Booger Nose? Booger Nose? Ooh, Booger Nose. Oh, come on, be serious. <laughs> look, look, the green Gatorade is what's on the floor. It's right here. That's what he spilled. No, Chef Baby, what's on the floor is the boogers from your nose. That's come on, Bowser. You got to be smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then he spilled it right there. Junior! Yep. Junior. There you go. Yeah, Smart. You lied to me. And you know what that means? What? It's time to get punished. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better pick your belt. Oh, I don't want to pick your belt. Pick your belt. Picking the belt? Pick a belt, Junior. Well, I don't want to pick a belt. Oh, oh they got a Gucci belt. belt. <laughs> you picking a belt, Junior, because you lied to me. And you know what that means? I'm about to whoop that ass. You got a Gucci belt. belt. Get the one lucky belt, so you better choose wisely. Get the Gucci. Oh, Come on. Is it, uh... 
This one? Oh. Uh, this one? Let me check. No, not that one. You know what? I'm, I'm actually feeling nice today. So I'm going to let you choose a different one, Junior. Get the Gucci. Okay, uh, Come on. Get spanked uh, in style. This one? Oh, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Oh, you idiot. The pebble was under that one. The oh. pebble's right there. I thought I was going to get it right this time. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot, Come boy. On. I always whoop your ass at this game. Yeah. But see, now you're grinding because you did pick the pebble. If you would have chose the right belt and the pebble was there, you wouldn't be grinding. I right said now. choose a Gucci one. But now you got to stay in your room for a week and don't come out. Okay, Dad. Stupid dumb belt game. I never had the, you know, the blessing to play the belt game when I was younger. When I got the belt, I got the belt. <laughs> it was not no choice. And I didn't get to choose either. Sometimes my parents would use, like, the studded one. It wasn't real diamonds, but it would be studded with, like, some sharp metal pointy things. And sometimes they'll just get a branch from outside. Like, my parents were very creative when it came to whooping my ass. My mother would just have countless ideas, you know, a shoe, her hand, a book, literally whatever she's holding in her hand at the moment can be turned into a mechanism that's going to whoop my behind. Like, there was an endless possibilities with my mom. Did you whoop his ass, Bowser? Oh, yeah. He didn't do nothing. I chose the Gucci belt. Tore his ass up real good. Ooh, oh, he did. That's the hurt. He did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he never wins. I'm grounded. All I can do is stay in my room. I have nothing to do. Should have chose the Gucci. My room. Gucci never I'm fails never you. My drink that I spilled. Shy baby can bring me a drink. Shy baby. Shy baby. He's not going to listen to you right now. <laughs> Shy baby, I need a drink. He don't Shy hear baby. you. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> Shy baby, I need a drink. Baby. Shy. Shy baby. His name's really PP. Bro, legally changed that already. Are you drink? I'm thirsty. <laughs> How are you gonna be walking around? My name is Pee Pee. So annoying. What do you want? Chef Pee Pee, I, I can't leave my room. I need him to bring me a drink. Oh God. What do you want, Junior? I want Chef Pee Pee to bring me a drink, but I don't. I feel like he's gonna get the belt again. All the way upstairs, and I can't leave my room, so I don't know. I guess your ass gonna die of thirst. What am I supposed to do about it? Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know that. <laughs> You can give him this Spider-Man walkie-talkie so he can hear me calling him whenever I need Oh, that's so cute. Dude, that's actually a great idea. That's so cute. Even better. How about you give it to him? Because I don't feel like taking my fat ass down those stairs. Well, I can't leave my room. Well, look, this is a one-time exception, okay? Take it to Chef Pee Pee and hurry up back to your room. I better not see your ass out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bowser just wants oh, to watch Charlie and Friends. Dinner's almost ready. <laughs> and Julius Oh, today is an amazing day. The dinner Chef he Pee -Pee. didn't cook. Oh, you're out of your room. Tell your daddy. <gasps> you a snitch. Okay. Well, my dad said I'd come out of my room for one time just to give you this walkie talkie. What? Why? Why would he do that? Because I was calling your name and I don't think you heard me. Oh, I heard you. I just ignored you because I didn't feel like being bothered. You're on punishment. Well, well, well I brought you this walkie talkie so in case I need anything, you can hear me, okay? Oh, he's so cute for buying him. I'm grounded. A walkie-talkie. Listen to no damn walkie-talkie. I'll turn that off immediately. <laughs> All right, Chef Pee Pee has his walkie-talkie, so now I can talk to him without leaving my room. Walkie-talkie. This is going to be what annoying. What am I going to do with a walkie-talkie? What am I, five? Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, gosh. It starts. <laughs> what do you want, Junior? Uh, does the walkie-talkie work? Of course it works. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> How would I be able to record <laughs> to you, you idiot? God. This man, uh, Pee Pee. What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm cooking. Duh. Oh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my freaking chef uniform. Is he flirting with that? you? Are you wearing anything else? Okay. No, there's nothing else on. You wearing anything tight? Uniform. Duh. You saw it. <laughs> so you're not wearing any underwear? You know what? Shut the hell up, Junior. Shut up. <laughs> there's somebody at the door, Chef PB. I heard it, Junior. I I feel like this is a hundred million times more annoying than just actually having Bowser Jr. in your face saying what he wants. Oh, and then again, you can always turn off the walkie-talkie, but you can't force Bowser Jr. to stop talking. We know that kid loves to talk, so it's, it's you know, it's better, but it's still bad. So it's a better bad, or a bad better? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And this man, Chef PB, still can't cook. Like, imagine hiring a chef, and then all he does is buy takeout food, puts it in a pot, recooks it, and then acts like he did it. Like, at that point, what are you, what are you to me? <laughs> I hired a microwave. I didn't even hire a chef, because I could have done that myself. I could have went to Chili's myself, got some chicken Alfredo, and reheated, reheated it myself. Or I could have just got, like, a Twitter thought who loves chicken Alfredo, because that's all they can make. <laughs> uh, hello? 
Oh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. Um, can Junior come outside and play? Oh. No, Junior's grounded. Who's at the door, Chef Pee Pee? Uh, it's Joseph, Junior. Uh, tell him I said hi. Hi, no. Joseph. Please tell him I said hi. Please. I like Joseph. <laughs> Junior says hi, okay? But no, he cannot play today. He's grounded. You can't come in. He can't come outside. So, bye. Sheesh. <laughs> Why are you so green? Why are you doing like that? Joseph? Joseph? Hey, dude. Can you fly? Window. We'll, we'll just come in the already open window. <laughs> okay. This man's not hey, the dude, smartest kid. Done. So, dude, why are you grounded? Because I dropped a cup full of Gatorade and it broke. Oh, I dropped the soap once while I was showering with my uncle. Well, he hit it out of my hand. Oh. So I need to pick it up or he's not going to take me to the toy store. Joseph. No. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten grounded if Chef Pee didn't uh, snitch. What, wait, he snitched? Yeah, like a bitch. Oh, no way, no way. I only got one rule, dude, and that's absolutely no snitching. No matter who did it, no or snitching. How bad it is. Oh, so you've never snitched? No, no not snitching. Never. Well, once, I was little, and <laughs> look, I just told my grandma that I thought my grandpa was cheating on her. So, my grandma did the craziest thing the next day. She just. Pushed him down the stairs. Did you have proof? Golden, broke his neck. He actually died. Yeah, that's a lie. You do not want to. I mean, that's not something you want to snitch about because you need to have concrete evidence, concrete proof. You see, if this was like your friend's girl or boyfriend, and then like you think they're cheating, that's that's one thing. But these people are married. You don't come unless there's concrete proof. And a lot of married men do be cheating. The amount of married men that are in young girls' DMs is just horrific. It's just go home to your wife and family, bro. <laughs> you get, enjoy that retirement fund that you've been saving for you and your wife. Go on that family trip that you always wanted to do. I go to my friends' DMs, like, because they show me on their phone, and I just see married men, like, grown men. One of my friends' DMs, I saw an old high school coach, the high school she used to go to, hitting her up. It was just so weird. This dude really waited for her to become a woman to slide in them DMs. Now, that's creepy. But I got a new grandpa. He's cool. Well, him and my grandma died in a house fire, so I have no one. You're just oh, bad luck. Sure still snitch. <laughs> I want payback on him. Oh, dude, yeah, you should get payback. Well, I mean, I kind of am. Look, see, see this walkie-talkie? Yeah. Uh, Chef has to do anything I say. Isn't that right, Chef Pee Pee? It's been on this whole time. <laughs> no, stop bothering me. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not supposed to say no. He's supposed to say yes because um, I'm grounded and I can't leave my room. So he's supposed to bring me whatever I want. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, so cool. It has Spider-Man on it. Yeah, I see it, dude. But seriously, you need to get payback on Chef Pee Pee. I mean, yeah, he did snitch on. Do they yeah, not know it's on? So how about the next time he goes to the bathroom, we run into the kitchen, make a huge mess, and then blame him? <laughs> yeah, we can blame Chef Pee Pee for the mess. My dad might unground me because he'll see the big mess that Chef Pee Pee made, and he, he's not gonna think that I. They're not the smartest kids. <laughs> my dad might unground me because he's like, oh, maybe Chef Pee Pee made that first mess. Yeah, dude, it's genius. Oh, oh, oh okay, so look. Here we go, be on the lookout. Okay, if you see Chevy, we go to the bathroom. You come get me, so we can do trouble. Okay, he's yeah. plotting. Right. He has an idea of his own. <laughs> hey, uh, Chef Pee-Pee, uh, uh, are you going to the bathroom anytime soon? Oh, yes, Junior. I'm about to use the bathroom. I've been holding it in all day. You got a doo-doo, bro? Uh, yeah, You've been holding I'm, that in? I'm just making sure. <laughs> uh, I just care about your bladder. I don't want it to explode from you holding in all that pee or whatever. Oh, man. Thanks for caring, Junior. Oh, oh I got to pee. I got to pee right now. Oh, oh, you got a boo-boo, bro. <laughs> I don't hold my stomach when I, I need to pee. <laughs> dude, dude. He's going to the bathroom. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Joseph, how do we make the mess? Oh, dude, easy. Just they're just gonna, the they're gonna oh, throw it on the floor. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> this is their house that they live in. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The green Gatorade that was all boogered. Oh, uh, who cleans this up? Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, you done messed up now, Julia. Already picked your belt, and there's no pebble. <laughs> Woo! Brings back memories. He's not gonna make me drop the show, busy. That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, Sai Bowser Jr. got caught at the end because Chef Pee Pee was listening the whole time. These are not the smartest kids. Like, when you're devising a plot, make sure the speaker isn't on. But I'm glad that Chef Pee Pee finally got, like, 
kind of like the good outcome in this episode because usually he gets always the bad things he has like the worst luck bowser's always treating him bad junior gets away with all the things he does to him it's just bad luck for chef pp but this time chef pp actually was believed bowser actually trusted him and junior actually got in trouble that doesn't happen very often well yeah junior getting in trouble happens often but bowser never really sides with chef pp maybe he's finally deserving or getting the respect that he deserves he's being considered a part of the family he lives with the guys he cooks for them I mean, he cleans for them, cleans for them. He does a lot of things for them. So Chef PP really should be a part of the family by now. But don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Fun and platform is truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawk. Stay charming, my friends.